Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is the reset level node. We have a quick example. Let's go ahead and run through it. You're not really going to be able to see much going on here, but I'm basically adding to an actor that I have in my scene and I'm incrementing a variable. Now when I reset the level, what it does is it goes through, it calls the reset function, technically the on reset function on all the actors, and then that's it. It doesn't really do anything damaging to the level except for one thing which I'll point out, but it's useful if you want to create built-in reset functions. Unreal Engine already provides that to you. So let's go ahead and go over that. Here is my blueprint. For the most part, we don't have to worry about any of it except for our reset level. What I'm doing is simply spawning in a cube. That cube itself, not a cube, an actor that I actually didn't assign a cube mesh to. But all this does is it has a variable called my awesome variable and another one called my other variable. We get a reference to that and then we're setting the value that we see on our screen, which is this middle one, to the value, if I can stop clicking on stuff, there we go, to the value of my awesome variable. Basically all you need to know is we're spawning this in, getting a variable from it, and displaying it on the screen. That way you know that we're actually working with this one. Now when I click the reset button, what it's doing is it's calling on the game mode reset level. And this one's, if you type in reset level, you're not going to find it. That's because it's part of the game mode itself. You have to drag off the game mode, and then you can find reset level. Now what reset level does is it goes through all of our actors. It fires off the on reset override function on any of them. And that's all it's going to do. It also seems to delete the player if it's spawned in automatically. And I'll show you that in a second. And I don't know if this is a side effect or intended, but that's something to keep in mind. And I'll show you that. Now, what do I mean by the on reset? Here's our actor. In our function list, we have things we can override. One of these is the on reset. Down here is the event on reset. Let me go ahead and delete it. We'll go back to functions and we'll look and we'll find on reset. We can also type in reset and we'll find at the top actor event on reset. This is basically, you can think of it as an event dispatcher or it's basically a built in function that's overridden and called whenever the reset level is called. So event on reset is called and then it does something. And let me go ahead and unplug this. This is just an example I'll cover for usefulness. But if we were to go ahead and hit add to actor and hit reset, nothing's going to happen here this time. But you notice every time I hit reset in the top left, on reset is called. And it happens to all of them. This little button here, if we look over here, you'll notice we have, uh, where is it at? Where is it hiding? Well, let's go ahead and click this a few times. There we go. We'll notice we have game actor 4 through 10. Every time I click this button, it's spawning in another actor. When I hit reset level, you'll notice on reset is called for every single actor I have. So it's not just doing it to the one I'm talking to. The on reset function, which reset level is called, is on every single game actor. Now if I was actually to go into our generic items and our player controller, we have an on reset here. If I print string, we type in controller reset, and then we go ahead and hit play, and then we hit reset. You'll notice it says controller reset. I hit it twice on accident. So it's not just, I'm not just talking to that one actor. I'm trying to point out that we are calling on reset, like if I delete these, and we find on reset, anything with on reset is being called, with an exception. Now that exception is going to be our player character. Now I don't know why, and I think obviously it's designed like this because it does it, but I'll have to look into more. But we have an on reset here on our character. And you notice it says event on reset, character on reset. But every time we run this, it's not being called. You notice it doesn't show up. If we look over here, 
on the right and we look at our generic character. When I reset the level, you're going to notice it changes to deleted and it gets rid of our character. For whatever reason, the spawned in either from a player start or if I delete the player start and we have it just simply spawned in as our default pawn, whenever we call reset level, that character is deleted. It seems to be the only one that gets deleted and it's just something to keep in mind. If you spawn in your own actors, like I am with the cube itself, the game actor right here, or any of these other ones, when you call reset, nothing happens to them. It's just the character itself. And it's not the character itself that gets deleted. If you'll notice, I'll, I'll go and drop in two other characters here. So we have generic character, generic character 2. If I hit play, whoops, my third one was removed from the scene because of collision. Let's go ahead and just delete this one. Okay, so, oh, son of a gun. Let's try this again. There we go, okay. So, we have our generic character that I created in the level, which is right here. And then we have generic character 817, which was spawned in. When I hit reset level, the spawned in actor is deleted, but the one I created is not, it is not reset. So that's a thing to keep in mind. It's a caveat. If you're allowing your player start or your game itself to create a character and you use the reset level, it will get deleted. You'll also notice up here, my character on reset is being called because this character does have an on reset event. So that's going to wrap up the reset level. Now, sorry, not wrap it up. I forgot to show you a use for it. So, because it's called on everything and these things aren't deleted, what you could use it for is a generic way of resetting things easily. And what I did here was part of an actor is a node called get class. And what it does is it gets the class of ourself. So, what I'm doing is I'm getting the class of ourself. In this case, it's going to be a generic game actor. And then I'm getting the class defaults. What are class defaults? Well, those are the default values of any variables we've added in. Like, for example, if I was to add a new one called NuVar, and it's a Boolean. If I refresh this, we're going to find... Oops. Compile and save. There we go. We now have NuVar as another class default. And if I was to pull this off, it's going to tell me that it is false. If I was to pull awesome variable off, it's going to tell us it's zero. So what I'm doing here is just simply getting the default value and setting it in the on reset. So if I was to do this to all of mine, I could have an easy way of just simply resetting an actor all at once back to their default values by just simply wiring in the on reset event using the class defaults. That's going to wrap up our video. If you have any questions or comments, Please feel free to leave them below.